now i would like to welcome uh, shri bp acharya sir and pratik jain sir uh, for joining us into this uh, upskill session thank you so much for coming sir now i would like to take it a honor to introduce the eminent personality who is a senior most ias officer and former director general of mcr hrd telangana he had implemented several innovative training programs including e learning for field staff and also has been instrumental in establishing the center for sustainable development goals at mcr hrd which is a training institute for civil services officers training then sir has also been the managing director aipcc and has been instrumental in facilitating over 20 world class clusters in the combined state of andhra pradesh such as financial district mind space and farm city as the secretary to the government industries and commerce department sir was involved in developing the genome valley project on the outskirts of hyderabad and many such industrial clusters as well and as a special chief secretary he was responsible for strengthening the decentralized planning in the state planning department and established the district knowledge and innovation centers in each district which provides innovative and workable solutions to district administration in in implementation of critical programs currently sir is an, is an advisor to the punjab government and he is also an advisor to indian council of medical research for their national animal resource facility for biomedical research in genome valley he is an inspiration for many ang ias officer who trained under him he is a person with impactful thoughts and he is our very own distinguished chief advisor of 21st century ias academy the backbone of our institute i request bp acharya sir on to the dais and share his valuable views to our ang aspirants na saboot hai na dalil hai mere sath rabbe jaleel hai rabba is god we firmly believe that if we do something strongly we do something with a pure heart things get done we don't do it somebody else gets it done through you that is what i felt throughout my 37 years if you allow yourself to be that instrument of god so many good things can happen if you feel that i have done it you become arrogant that arrogance brings you down for god waits for right moment right instrument allow yourself to be the pencil of god as mother teresa used to say if you allow yourself the pencil of god god will write through you that is my firm conviction in my 37 years so many good things will get done through you if you allow yourself as collector so many good things so many things one could achieve so many people can be helped if you allow that feeling in you so i am indeed fortunate that in this 37 years i had the great opportunity when you chose this public service we decided yes we are here as a service as a public service to serve the public not to make money money was never a consideration there are other corporate sectors where which are offered 10 times or 20 times the salary that we got i used to always joke in warangal the panwala which sits outside the collectors bungalow collectors office he would be earning much more so but why people used to come to the collector because they have innate faith that this man will do something to help you and help if if you try to help it will get done that is my firm conviction हो धरो मिते धीर हो करो मिते भीर हो उन्नत शीर नहीं भय हो धरो मिते धीर हो करो मिते भीर हो उन्नत शीर नहीं भय भूली बेदा बे कैम हो वो शबे आगुआन साथे अच्छे भगवान हो बे जो रहो धर्म में रहो कर्म में भी रखो उन्नत शीतरो नाम when you prepare this civilian army as it were for the country the country i think is in safe hands When 
take a decision, remember the face of the poorest man, whether it's going to help him or her or harm him. That is the eventual test, yardstick with which you can judge. Rahu dharm me bhi, rahu karm me bhi, rakho unnat shir daro na. Bholi beda bekyen, ho ho shabe hanuman, chate achi bhagoban, ho be jor. For India to aspire to the super power, all of us need to make things happen in the respective fields. How will you facilitate that process? How will you help in that process? It is up to you. This service of IAS, IPS, these are all nomenclatures which do not matter to the country. What matters is that all of us are serving the country. All of us are serving the people of this country. Thank you so much sir for sharing your journey and without any further ado I would like to call upon Krishna Pradeep sir onto the dais and BP Acharya sir along with Pratik sir onto the stage and to launch this meditational mentorship book. We can't really give tips on how to prepare, how to upskill yourself for this challenge. That's why we requested the younger lot, Pratik, who is from the 2017 batch, the other of his batch and 2021, who have come to tell you the practical tips. We can only tell you what the service is and was and how it has evolved over the years. That's why I wanted to uh, show you this video where you get a flavor of what you are looking at. If you are preparing for civil service, you need to have that in you, that I need to serve the people. Otherwise, no point coming to a service like this. For instance, Pratik was in a multinational company. He quit it and joined a service where he lost almost, he was getting five to six times his pay there in a multinational company. But he came here because this service offers you the variety of jobs that you won't get anywhere else. Perhaps nowhere in the world you will get such a wide variety of jobs. And the opportunity to help people is so immense. You can literally become the instrument of God, as Mother Teresa used to say, the pencil of God. If you allow that to happen to you, you can help hundreds and thousands of people in your respective fields. That is what, if it motivates you, come to the service. Otherwise, no. There are better ways of making money, better ways of enjoying power. You do something else. Because many of you I see these days try for five to six years getting into civil service, uh, the preparation and exams. It is like a tapasya for many of you. If you are ready for this tapasya, for what? Not for something else. This is what you are looking for. If you are ready for this kind of a job for 30, 35 years, you will have an opportunity to prove yourself and do things where no one else can do. As regards the skills, Pratik will tell you in detail what is required. But what is, I trained nearly 2,000 All India Service Officers over the last 3-4 years in the Dr. Marichan Reddy Institute of HRD. <laughs> what I noticed is more than the merit, more than the talent, what was required perhaps to crack this exam is that typical smart preparation. 
you may you don't need to be very hard working or very talented you don't don't need to uh, read 16 18 hours a day you need to be smart in your approach choosing your optional way you approach your papers i am going to circulate a, a, a note which i have got from another young officer mr varun reddy who is a topper from telangana 2019 batch and his wife chahat bajpayee both of them prepared some talking points for me saying i requested them i don't know what to tell them you tell us what what is the what in your view is most important so they have given this so you can go through this it sums up what you should read what newspaper you should focus on how you should choose your optional all that is covered in this so i don't i'm not going to spend time talking about it you go through this but keep it in mind this is a long haul all of you hopefully many of you will get in the first chance i did he did it for me i was 23 when i got into service he also got it in the first chance so but not many are lucky these days for instance our topper uh, couple of years ago anudeep got it in sixth chance i also asked him he, his inputs are also in this anudeep's inputs are also in this so many are going on improving their ranks that is happening over a period of time so you should be prepared to try your luck over a period of time and better your rank if not getting the best shot in the first year itself but how to have the because the competition has become so immense now about a million people write the exam of which uh, about 12 13000 qualify for the mains of whom 1000 perhaps are called for the interviews and about 100 and 150 get into the ias other services put together is about another 700 800 people in the civil services all services put together so but this intense filtration which is happening because of the competition because people think this is a coveted service this is the most important service in india so why how do i uh, how do i get ahead of others how do i score in this process of three phase prep, uh, filtration that is where very very careful smart strategy is required which i am sure pratik and his colleagues are going to give you practical tips but i can only wish you that if you are sincere in your approach you will make it you need luck you need uh, preparation hard work all that is required but a smart way of preparing it so i want to wish you all the very best to each one of you and hope many of you in this hall would qualify in the prelims to come in the in the uh, exams to come prelims will be in Ju june and none of you are taking the group 1 exam anyone is taking which is on sunday prelims on anyone taking here from this some are taking so this could also help the the uh, strategy for preparation for this civil services also is similar to group 1 also perhaps in some ways but subjects are different syllabus is different you need to focus on that and see that try your luck group 1 also is a good service okay all the very best to all of you